Okay, the Ben Buckle Elf 150, which is a reference to the fact that it's one and a half times the size of the original Free Flight Elf, which I believe was built in 1937. I may be incorrect on that, but um, it's been quite a challenging build. I've enjoyed it, but it has been difficult, mainly because I went for an electric installation. Um, having purchased a four-stroke engine, unfortunately, it was too large, an OS 48. It would have been a really tight squeeze. I may have done it, but it would have been a tight squeeze. But I've tried to do this on a couple of vintage models, install electric, and it's always a bit of a um, head scratcher on how to install the battery. Because I hate putting batteries in from underneath the fuselage. So this is my solution. It's a hatch here. It's actually um, retained with an, a magnet and there's room and a very tight squeeze for a 3S2200. Uh, I still have to add or connect up the, well that's the neighbour's cat, uh, the control rods for the servos and you'll notice that the servos are in the rear of the fuselage because with combined with the weight of the battery it's Quite a bit nose heavy, even though I understand that the um, CG as shown on the plans is about one inch too far back from what I've read on forums on the internet. So time will tell, but a fair weather, an opportunity to get out there and get away from some horrible weather and endless football, I might get a maiden into this plane very shortly. Thanks for watching.